This is mine. Day two for time. I'll keep Jerry again. Okay? Look here. Mm. Good afternoon. Well, first of all, I thank God for this wonderful time and for this beautiful day. Okay, at this afternoon, I'm representing uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, Team Eleanor Roosevelt. 
And before I start with this presentation, I just want uh, to say about our wonderful and talented and blessed women, our women mentors, leaders. Uh, thank you all for this, for organizing this wonderful collegiate camp, girls camp. And uh, to start with this, Eleanor Roosevelt. She is a woman that who we can express only with a verbal, verbally. But uh, she is a woman who fights, who fights for all the girls and all for all the women. Rights not uh, not in a one particular group, but for all the girls in the world. That is, in terms in the place of civil rights or at home or for the uh, politics. And this is how she fights for the nation of all the girls. And the main reason behind this is you know, she is the longest who serves uh, with, with her husband, the wife of uh, Franklin, President Franklin D. Uh, and from starting from the year 1933 till 1945, she serves as the uh, longest conference in her own key place. And uh, she's also the first lady of a uh, chairperson, chairperson of uh, human rights who stood for the uh, women, especially for the women. And not only girls, students, but every woman. And now we are, we are here because she's the one. At first, well, we meet the women leader right now. We have the beautiful and talented, even she's one of them. And I'm very glad, and we should say that we are very lucky to have a wonderful and talented and with a blessings like a woman, like Elena Roosevelt. And behind this, uh, behind her success, is that uh, she seeks God secretly and she helps a woman and, and a people who's, who struggles and who carry their depths in, a, in their hearts, but she freed all uh, all their struggles, and she lifts up with his strength, with his capability, with his education. So this is how, uh, in a brief, this is how Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt struggles and help and bring the freedom uh, to a woman in the world. Thank you all. Groups can they just it's okay, just be there. This is a very um, important station where uh, we look up to the cross knowing that Jesus died on the cross for us and he has forgiven each of our sins. Now, though we might have our own personal uh, failures and our
Hello everyone, Hello. we are a group in Atlanta with Atla um, Vidiano as our mentor. So today I'm standing here to give a brief uh, introduction about our group. The first, uh, like going to the specifics of our chart, I would like to say a little about Helen Adams Kier. She was a strong woman. She was not born blind or she was not born deaf. She was born as us, but as years went by, as months went by, she became blind and she became deaf. So this is not something she was inherited to at birth, but this is something she inherited after later years of her life. So today, uh, let me talk about the specific that is, that is in our uh, chart paper. We drew Helen's, Helen Adam Killer. Now, we have tested the famous quotes of her. Her quotes is related to our team and also to our teamwork. The quote as we read out, the quotes can be, the best and beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. That's the quote we selected as it represents our team and also it represents our uh, team for the camp. We have written her famous works. We, as team members of Helen Adams Killer, we may not be physically blind or we may not be physically deaf, but we are blinded by the worldly pleasures of life. We are made deaf by the false gospels that is present. But what we want to achieve is that with her strong faith, as she achieved all those hurdles, we want to achieve things in life through our faith. We have chose a memory verse uh, according to the character of Helen Adams Killer. The verse can be 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is a victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Coming to a conclusion, uh, our teammates, we aim to achieve the highest position of spiritual aspect that is our faith, and we aim to make our faith stronger through this camp, and also, along with our faith, we aim to be exquisite inside and out. Thank you all.
British monarchy and also the longest verified uh, reign of any female monarch in the history. She was a true icon, inspiring the world with her uh, across people, inspiring the people across the world with her strength, courage, resilience, and dedicating to the life uh, to the life of the service. A true leader who had no personal agenda but to serve her country. Uh, the queen played her role right beautifully right till the end. <coughs> to conclude, let us also try and learn from the examples she has set for, for us. Thank you. So, uh, when I'm here to highlight the reason that we came up with this group, uh, group name uh, was there. So, first, before I go to this chart, let me, uh, let me give a short introduction about this Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So, she was born on 15 March 1933, uh, and she was an American lawyer. Uh, she was an American lawyer and also a jurist who served as a uh, associate judicial of the Supreme Court of the United States from 1993 till. Her day to end on 2020. So let me go to this uh, posture. So here we can see that there is responsibilities and career. So when it comes to responsibilities, her husband was diagnosed with testicle cancer. So as we can only envision that how much responsibility responsibility she had. But then, despite of all that, she didn't give up on her career. And when it comes to uh, this, uh, her advocacy work, her advocacy work was focused on women's equality and gen uh, women's rights and gender equality. And as we all uh, know that. She was the second woman and the first uh, Jewish Jewish lawyer who served on the Supreme Court. So this picture represents uh, her shadow, and then this is our quote: says that speak your mind even if your voice shakes. So our aim and passion is to become a woman like her and live up to the name that we represent today. To become exquisite inside and out like Ruth Bader Ginsburg through our Christ who died for our sins. Thank you.